Uh, I'm Ted Walker. I'm the uh, Assistant Principal for e-learning at Rawlins Community College. Uh, and I'm uh, going to talk about our experience with learning platforms, particularly with Moodle. Uh, I've called it pedagogy, practice and potential, but of course it does link in neatly to personalised learning and a little slug of politics as well. Um, so I'm going to talk about why we were uh, working on, on the learning platform, um, what we did, really probably most of what I'll do is show you some, some snapshots of, of what kind of things we're doing and talk about um, the future for us. Um, okay, so the rationale. Um, Rawlings is a Leicester upper school, uh, so we've got students from 14 to 18. We're a specialist media arts college. Um, each year group is huge, so we've got about 500 uh, in each year group at key stages, at key stage four. Um, the site isn't something we can develop particularly well, but uh, and funding isn't coming particularly soon. Um, but what we can do, of course, uh, is work on our virtual campus. Um, okay, some more features uh, about the school, our mixed intake, um, mixed profile of staff, and so on. And we did start, we looked at this slide when we were selling the idea with staff. Um, we were looking at becoming an e-confident school, so a lot of these areas uh, were, could be tackled by uh, our work with the VLE. Um, particularly talking about staff confidence of the use of ICT, um, integrating it, distributing control um, and ownership, um, personalised learning, and developing high ICT capacity um, with, with our students. Um, we also had a look uh, and a talk about the gateways to personalised learning, and again, thought that uh, a lot of the work with the VLE could move towards that. We, we've done separate work on Learn to Learn, um, but the, the VLE, we thought, was a powerful tool for student voice and for assessment for learning. Um, clearly something that was going to contribute strongly towards modelling the curriculum and new technologies. Um, we used it and, and seen lots of opportunities for mentoring and coaching, and actually, to some extent, it does contribute to the way we organise and design the school and, and the workforce. Um, we talked about what we understood about a learning platform. I'm sure you, you're quite familiar with uh, a lot of these issues. Um, and the relationship between our piece of software that we chose to use, uh, Moodle, as part of a, a wider learning platform. Um, and we certainly signed up to a lot of the benefits that uh, we were told ought to happen, um, not just because we, we read down a list from the DFES as it then was, but uh, really for most of these issues. Um, for example, supply teacher effectiveness, where there's a curriculum that's built in uh, and online, students are, are, are anticipating and it can be consistent, um, that we were able to, we could see ways in which we could work with other institutions. Um, fellow secondary schools or our um, local FE college um, or the um, our feeder high schools. Um, we also see it building up to um, e-portfolios and of course we take for granted now very much the idea that uh, the curriculum is, is uh, continually online. Um, and that we see um, IT literacy and the use of many of the features of a VLE as tools that students are going to have to come to terms with when they leave us, whether that's for higher education uh, or whether that's actually in their own experiences um, in, in work. Um, we got all these messages from Vector and we understood all those um, targets and when we should be running VLEs and so on. Um, We preempted the Vector framework, but um, in fact we, we found this was where some of the politics came into it, and our local authority tried to steer us very strongly towards the um, recommended list of suppliers amongst the Vector framework. Um, however, we, um, we understood that, that funding 
was available um, and that actually we still could work with our open source solution which um, as you're aware is Moodle um, we came up with a number of reasons why Moodle um, was appropriate for us uh, in particular a lot of the functionality of, of some of the things we wanted to do the way we might want to run forums um, the way we wanted to empower and, and, and give away, devolve some of the ownership of the curriculum to, to students and teachers. Um, we recognised that um, actually spending a lot of money on one of the Vector uh, approved suppliers didn't actually mean that we'd got any more, um, that we, we'd got any more control because um, we're aware of situations in the past where very big firm, very big names had withdrawn support for products uh, all these, these have changed. So actually, um, in essence, dipping our toes into the water with an open source solution that wasn't going to cost us too much to start with um, would actually build us up uh, the opportunity to, to, to try it and see if it was going to be work and see if it would do the job for us without, a huge, without the pressure of a huge commitment. Um, it does a lot of things. We found that. and It, it does more and more things. Um, but also, there is a big online community, um, even more strongly we feel that now, given the uptake of um, the FE colleges and some of the larger universities, Open University, etc. We feel there's actually a lot of support out there for, um, for developing Moodle. Um, that's out of date now, and it's, uh, it's well above 60% of, of FE colleges, um, but certainly once we've made the decision and started working with it, we weren't going to change um, the practices of our local um, college. Um, but it was something that was going to build. And we also understood and, and liked the, um, the pedagogical point of view it was, it was um, created from, um, as I say, in terms of um, distributing ownership. Ted, can you say that Loughborough College used Moodle? Yeah. 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 They're, they're putting a lot of... Um, a lot of investment into that. Um, okay, uh, some more issues there, but actually we found it, it wasn't a, a tricky thing to, to set up, in fact, um, and there was uh, support remaining or, or, or that we thought would continue to be available. We've been faced with issues uh, where people say, well, what about the total cost of ownership? Doesn't this mean you're going to be uh, spending a lot on, on resources, somebody running it all for you? Um, but in fact, we would argue that a lot of the resources, we do have a, um, a technician that we, we, whose a lot of his role is uh, towards Moodle, but actually most of this time isn't spent on technical issues, it's spent on development and training issues and to um, run any VLE or learning platform in a meaningful way you'd still need that role um, as well as paying the, uh, the software fees. Um, did put this up on, in a staff training session um, we're using the learning platform because actually we think it's a, an opportunity to make things better. And the next bit, um, if not, we are, we would have been wasting our time. And I think at this stage, um, staff recognised that. Um, there is a lot of um, initiatives, there are a lot of initiatives that come in the way of teachers and we ask them to do things. Um, and a certain amount of initiative fatigue and they'll all sit there and listen and say, um, and they won't necessarily resist, but um, I think we need to acknowledge that actually we're, only, we're not trying to do, uh, we're not, we weren't trying to develop VLE because we've been told to, but we were trying to do it because we, we could see opportunities and potential, even if it happened to fit in with, a, with the uh, national agenda. Um, this was a slide that went to staff. So these were some, some ideas, again, um, about really to try and um, empower teachers and students um, to try and change things, you know, trying to get people excited 
uh, think about ways of changing what they're doing, uh, really being on, on the crest of a wave of, of the changing the way we, we teach and learn, um, encouraging risk-taking and so on. Um, okay, so um, we got a fair amount of buy-in. Um, we took a few actions. Uh, there was some strategic leadership that uh, tried to make the, the whole of the ICT policies joined up. We got some involvement with the governors. Um, we tried to put the e-learning targets into, into the whole school plan. Um, and as on a route towards that was the Arts College plan, which is our, our specialism. Um, we also saw the idea of developing the VLE as something of a catalyst for enlivening some of our practice. Um, we put some training in, in the way of uh, teaching and learning. And some of that was um, a, a group of us that actually presented our ideas on, on the VLE on an online conference, um, which helped us become more familiar of that way uh, of teaching and, and learning. Um, there were the other side of it, so the, the, the curriculum side, so actually shoring up the, um, the ICT curriculum itself, shoring up our resources, um, bringing in some technical support, looking at the way we, we ran our ICT policies, and talking to other organisations as well. Um, so the, the college, uh, universities, specialist schools trust, etc. Um, run through some of those fairly quickly. Some of the ways um, we went about it. Uh, a small group of people that, that enjoyed working with the VLE. They ran quickly with it. Um, developing some vision so that that actually came right from the top, um, but also that there was a clear vision that people could understand. Um, this phrase, the viral implementation, somebody runs off with it and then um, that um, enthusiasm is infectious, um, but also some uh, oh, well, making sure that it's done, then done through departments, um, that there's adequate support there, but training programmes in place in, in different ways, whether that training was one-to-one -one, uh, or the whole school um, or in any other uh, particular combination. Um, we never really quite did and still haven't really quite sorted out the graphics uh, we did have a, 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 a um, student debate to try and have a name, an interesting name, um, and in the end we settled with Rawlins VLE. Um, nothing better came through. Um, um, there are the factors. Will it get used? Have you got enough PCs? Um, so we had to... We, we, we partly addressed that as part of the... the um, over, overall picture um, and of course staff having their own laptops was a helpful um, issue um, getting the technical issues right um, and from that point of view not having to learn separate passwords I think was quite, a, quite an important uh, step in that um, initially we, we allowed students to edit their screen names because that gave them some ownership and you could track back who they were by looking at their um, email addresses in the end, I think, as, as uptake became stronger and, um, and it be the, just the volume of that became um, unmanageable, but that was quite a nice uh, phase to go through. Um, but of course, they, they can edit their profiles, uh, they can edit their pictures, and the, the, the pictures being edited are, are an interesting kind of um, barometer of um, ownership that they've taken with that. Um, getting the the groups put right has and still is something of an issue, but I think we've smoothed some of our systems with that. Although you can't get that right when the timetable keeps changing. So there's other procedures um, within the school we need, we need to look at. Um, we went through a phase running it on our own in-house server where all of a sudden um, the bandwidth and the server speed just couldn't cope. And we did go through a wobbly period there, which threatened to um, put the whole project back. But somehow or other, we managed to uh, get the, the, the technical know-how um, to put that behind us. Um, 
We've had debates and we seem to have moved on from that where we've talked about hosting it externally. Um, but actually, at the moment, internal hosting seems to be quite reliable enough that, uh, and fast enough that um, that's, gone, uh, that's gone quiet now. Um, and obviously, there, there's a lot of data uh, to, to think about in terms of our backup and recovery procedures. Um, it's not just training staff. It's making sure that students are exposed to and able to use um, the VLE. And some of that's done through, well, the, the main way that's done is through the core subjects that they, they all study. Uh, there's an IT literacy course in um, Key Stage 4, and then general studies have been one of the big um, champions uh, in the sixth form. And it's dependent then on the quality of, 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 of their programme as to how, uh, how much training students actually uh, get in terms of using it. Um, okay. Do the, do the general studies, I mean, a sort of classic thing with general studies is that the student motivation is not as great as it is yeah. in other key stage five programmes. Do the yeah. general studies team notice any difference if they're championing this? In that yeah, they do. I mean, that's one of the reasons they've gone for it, because they're all asked to do general studies. Um, and a lot of the students even just perhaps wouldn't turn up, they wouldn't value it. Um, there's more participation. Um, and I think there's a, and that, that as a result of more engagement. Um, they've been doing a lot of work on online conferences um, and peer review and evaluation and, and, and research. Um, and it's hard to look at results very clearly so far, but there is some evidence of improving results as well. But certainly a, a very clear improved perception and improved take up as a result had a big difference. Um, yeah, it's not, yeah. not an area that I've heard mentioned before. Oh it? right, okay. No, that's a big, yeah. um, that's a big yeah. um, area with it. Um, I quite like the um, those comments from the ICT mark. Um, di just directly um, relating it back to the VLE, transforming the ter teaching and learning culture in a relatively short time, and being becoming embedded in the work ethic of the students. Um, and the use of student mediators on, on the, in the forums, giving, giving them ownership, um, encouraging them to open up innovative and creative opportunities for learning. Um, should come to some of those in a minute. Here we go. Examples of use. Now I can do this for a long time, or we can whiz through them. Um, the front page, still pretty bland. Um, and there's a tension there as to whether, whether there should be more interesting graphics um, or whether um, it stays quite bland because it's, a, it's an official tool. And there's, a, I think, probably some kind of, of, of middle line to, uh, to drive between that. Um, but actually, it, you would imagine that graphics would be something that would encourage motivation um, and, and ownership. Our bland graphics don't seem to have held us back at all, um, surprisingly. Um, this was, uh, this was a relatively uh, old one. I left that there just because of the, the red nose day. That's still one of the, um, from a year ago, I think, um, red nose day photographs are still one of the, um, the, the most regularly visited pages, which was um, students uploading their own photographs onto a shared um, moderated photo database, which was quite fun. Um, we've sort of settled to our layout now, so we've got a kind of, almost a kind of menu down the left, going off to the various portals, uh, and so on, the staff and the, and the, and the student portals, the student voice bit, um, the daily bulletin coming up down the middle, um, the, the calendar running off on the right, um, and, and so on. Um, which is something we've now agreed as a format with our two um, main feeder schools. Um, and they, they're going to replicate the model that we've, um, or they, they already have replicated our, our model. Um, and we, we, we're going to get a very concrete collaboration there with that. Um, it's really just a, a continuation. I think that's probably today's or yesterday's page with some bulletins. Um, house points, that's another kind of change within the school, we introduced houses, so houses 
the schools came on the front page. Um, the statistics and the online users and so on. Um, stakeholders. Uh, this should show staff, students, um, governors. We were working on a, a, a governor's area. I think that's something that needs a bit more of a, a kick start. We, we, we certainly got some participation on that. Um, student voice. I think we, we've done a lot of work on, um, and it's becoming something we more or less take for granted now. Um, we use quite routinely quite a lot of the... Um, the feedback functions and so on. So we did a, uh, we put out a, a, a pattern, a pattern, a feedback exercise um, on what students' views of the day pattern was, um, without really an awful lot of effort and with no administration uh, overheads or anything. That was well at that point there were 366 responses to it, telling us um, just in, in simple terms what length they thought lessons ought to be and when lunch breaks should be and, and, and so on. Um, discussion forums, I've not managed to put that over the front, um, but um, I think I've got another screen on that in any case. Um, just simple votes like that in the house areas, which was an area we, um, in many houses have been devolved over to students. Um, this was a, a vote on, on what charity they wanted to adopt as their house. Um, and there's Again, very, very quickly responses. Um, we've got a, a little area full of competitions and questionnaires. So this is now some of the, some of the students posting their own questionnaires um, for, their, for their research, uh, personal research study in particular. The humanities um, uh, task has now come up. So they'll put up their questionnaires on capital punishment and they'll get those done online. Um, the, the mini sagas, the English literacy competitions, or, or um, short stories, and so on. Um, so, uh, does your opinion account, extracurricular activities, feedback through extended schools. Um, and we had a, a new one this time into the, um, the teacher performance management day. And we'd asked teachers to try and get a, a student led target as part of their performance management. Um, they were using um, student feedback, so students were asked to, to feedback and um, give them well, about their lessons, um, confidential to that member of staff, so no one else was in interfering with it. Um, but that was a, a, a format, and I think we got um, around about 50 staff actually participating in that out of 100 or so um, teachers. So it was a, a fairly decent strike rate on that. On that menu there of teachers' names, yeah. does that mean that any student can evaluate any teacher? Um, yeah, I mean, it, what the way it was done, it was asking students to do it as part of their um, lesson groups. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't done on a kind of free-for-all, let's all right. evaluate you. Um, I think some of the mechanics of it would mean that could be open to that kind of way in. Mm. Do you have any perception of how that was? The only perception I've got is that it actually went as, as planned in terms of students actually clicking on their um, yeah. teacher's name when they were asked to, mm -hmm. doing it during mm -hmm. that lesson or for that homework or, or whatever, and then it got closed off. Yeah. I'm so, surprised at that. I mean, quite often people say, well, yeah. you, know, you try and build something too complicated yeah. for reasons that maybe yeah. are not there. Yeah. I mean, we tried to find all sorts of complicated ways around it, and in the end, it was a, a fairly simple way. And, it, and it, as far as we can tell, it seems to have worked. Then the question is how useful the feedback was, and could we refine the questions? But actually, I think there's not much motivation from the students to go and write um, answers about another teacher's no. lessons that they don't know. Um, to the student forums, yeah. So, very busy. I mean, it's still the busiest area of the VLE and student forums, ranging from some um, sensible, I would say sensible, but some academic discussions or discussions about uh, improving um, school life or actually evalu evaluating their own work to some of the more mundane and social uh, discussions which keep them, um, keep them involved. 
Um, they are run by a, a, a group of student moderators who actually, that so far has worked very well. Um, they interpret a, a set of policies well. We're just coming up against an issue at the moment where we've got um, one uh, lad who is very obsessed with making posts um, and the use of computers in general, and in particular has a, has a history of, of wanting to talk too much about paranormal activities. So that's when we've just got to get our heads around the right way of dealing with that, because um, we, it's just not within the ethos to say, right, you're using it too much, you're banned. So there's some, some conversations with, with home that, uh, that need to take place there and, and a bit of a bit of more of a case history. Um, well, there's some examples from one of the, um, one of the ones about schools, um, how, to, how to manage the corridors, um, the timetable keeps changing on the day pattern, leave it alone. Um, the school toilets, bike sheds, um, rewards for good students, which seems to be a kind of feature in in any school. Um, staff Central has been a slower area to build up, um, but we have managed to get staff discussing, um, using forums to discuss some, some school issues, in, in particular this consultation we're having on, on the day pattern. Um, all the staff publications and the staff bulletins and so on, and in fact all of the shared area now it, it goes through there. So, um, and we get yeah, a centralised uh, school photo database. So we're trying to get material for to go with, um, well, if it was press releases or prospectus material, um, which all these things are quite difficult to to, to centralise. But um, at least they they've got a place to to live. Um, but I think there's a lot more opportunities. We could develop that much more in terms of collaboration, uh, mutual support, um, discussion. I mean, I really think every, um, every time we have meetings at a, a kind of strategic or tactical level, we should be publishing the minutes and getting staff to discuss them where they're involved and informing that. Um, the leadership team meetings, we should be publishing an agenda, letting staff have a say, and then taking that, that kind of informed approach into, um, into our um, conversations. Perhaps we should be having some online staff meetings. Um, we've got a bit of a way to go before we can really get that side of the culture going. Um, but I think we've dipped our toes in the water there. Um, obviously the college calendars, um, weekly information sheets, this is always the risk that we're just putting up a load of resources and we've got the digital filing cabinet. And I think this is, the, this is um, right from a strategic point of view, the job to try and educate um, staff about what a much deeper um, um, teaching and learning opportunities. And we have got loads of resources that are available, loads of Word documents, um, the podcasts, those link nicely with iTunes, um, so on, but actually, we see it as a tool for assessment for learning, and that's actually developing quite neatly um, in, in a number of departments. If it's just um, work being submitted online and, and feedback comments being given, okay, well, in a, in a sense, there, 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 there uh, some assessment for learning in that with the comments. But actually, we're, we're working more by trying to use the peer assessment sort of modules. So um, students are giving each other feedback. Um, forums is now fairly well established within a department area. Um, so, for example, for a media presentation or a, an IT website or whatever it happens to be, um, students will then present that and then there'll be a forum of, of feedback and, and comment on that. Um, that's a sci-fi group I don't, that might be media um, these sort of self-marking quizzes are a useful idea where there's well, where the resource is made once um, but actually one of our feeder schools have taken that as a um, one IT teacher for all, pretty much all the schools so he's got about um, 600 students. That's a very useful way he's found for getting assessment um, 
from them all, where he can't possibly mark all their work. Um, so that's, that's developing perhaps with our, with our high schools. Um, the calendar integrating with all the assessments and so on. I mean, I think just the, um, the, the list of all the things that we can do um, and the, 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 that grows from there is quite um, phenomenal. Um, I was going to link it into a previous talk about hot potatoes. Um, but I mean, I think that's a, that's a terrific tool uh, in terms of integrating it and then getting a, a, a mark book of the, the results um, from, from the activity. Um, we were involved with a special schools trust e-mentoring um, program, which, which got us to talk to a number of, um, number of other local schools. And, and in fact, really, that was pretty much uh, the idea of um, using forums and chat rooms for, for support um, in terms of, um, in that sense, mostly academic support. But um, we were looking at also using that in terms of um, pastoral support. We had our own project on transition. Um, and we had, um, we're also looking at, in terms of careers and, 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 and having a, an alumni network set up. And that, that's on, on the agenda. Um, we've got an, a little external version of it called Bridge. And we've used that for... Um, online conference with um, another local school where uh, that's, it was a combination of uh, one of the general studies modules so they're talking about the nature of Britishness and so on, that's so the whole of year 13 took part in that in a, in a very interesting and meaningful way actually um, we've um, is that, uh, that's again that's some of the uh, talk about uh, from the online conference um, where we've got uh, they were talking about prisons. We actually we had guest speakers in that online conference as well, um, including the local MP, which was quite um, nice to bring to bring them into it without having to take an awful lot of a time commitment in, because obviously that was running over a few days. Um, we also want to use that platform for working with our international partner schools. So we've got that. That's really just in the, in in the throes of. Um, of emerging with our, our links with, with China and Thailand. Um, and we did have successful time with, with, with higher education mentoring. These were, uh, this was an organised um, programme of some of our students who are at, um, at university talking to our, um, our current students. And we were, the payments will, will, will go through, but we, we paid them for being online. Um, with, with part of the um, e-mentoring funding. Um, administration and self-review. Um, so we've got various um, option forms and so on, uh, in particular in post-16. Um, so we did, um, yeah, the um, post-16 options we did online uh, in terms of choosing what, what subjects they wanted to do. Um, and again, that just, just cut out a whole load of administration. You could see the picture straight away uh, of who was wanting to do what subject. Um, CEF, our, our self-evaluation forms, um, instead of students filling in paper questionnaires, they do that online now and you get the, the, the standard questions answered very quickly or, or variations on those questions. Um, a lot of participation, and anybody who comes to see me, I normally just grab last night's um, log just to see what was happening. And this one went up right up to 11.59. It wasn't. Uh, it was Miss Tub, in fact. <laughs> it was on like 11.59. There were, uh, <laughs> um, as you can see, it's uh, the students as well, and then on, on, on um, looking at photos and um, very, just a, a range of um, statistics. Um, homework, discussion forums and so on. Um, it normally, th I had found in the past it thinned out after about, um, perhaps about half past ten and so on, but I think we're still getting that, that growth in, if you like, uh, free time use. Um, there was a, a graph with some use, but I just thought that was, that was quite interesting. I picked out a slide I'd looked at before, and I know those, those patterns look quite similar, but that was... Um, that was in March. That was talking about 3,000 hits on a, on a course. 
uh, just look now and it's a similar similar pattern but it's 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 gone up to seven thousand hits on a course so I think this thing almost does gain its own momentum and um, and, and, and start to um, to run by itself um, all right, post sixteen and we've talked about uh, options and choices forms um, we've done a little bit of work on forums and wikis um, Okay, and some of the things we'd like to do a bit more, try and tie it up a bit better to our um, our juggernaut database, which is, is Sims, and we, we keep talking about interoperability, um, and although we can get files output from Sims and input again into 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 the VLE, actually the genuine unity of the system is something that, that uh, really would help us. And get our calendars um, sorted out a bit better so that um, actually we really, with our procedures, only got one school calendar. We've actually managed to get ourselves four different school calendars at the moment, um, at least. So there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's an issue there to start tying everything back down again into one place. Um, parents access. Parents at the moment really can only access um, the VLE using with their son or daughter's account and there's an issue there um, if we were able to issue passwords to, to parents how much of the privacy of the students we'd be um, we, we, we'd be compromising so that I think there's quite a lot of uh, territory to both in, in terms of what we can technically do and then in terms of what we ethically should do to address looking at that um, more online and blended teaching we've got um, we moved on developing a model where um, actually we, we need to understand more and more, especially in cramped buildings, pressurised timetables and day patterns and so on, that um, this is an opportunity for us to, to free up timetables um, and actually personalise learning more. Um, so we don't always have to have rooms full of students just all sitting in a, in a room picking their noses but therefore being ticked as being there. Um, and participating, we can actually spread our, our use of teaching much better. Um, we, uh, one of the key skills courses, the post-16 key skills courses, we've adopted a model where we're actually, although they're timetabled for three or four lessons a week, they only have face-to-face -face contact in small numbers for a, whatever it is, uh, one lesson, and then maybe a tutorial time in that week. So. Um, just investigating different different practices of working there. Um, better understanding of new pedagogic opportunities. And what I mean is that um, although there's a number of teachers who are pushing the envelopes out with this, maybe the the so those early adopters, the majority of people just say, well, there's a nice system we, we can use there, um, and maybe. We need to impact more on their on their on their day to day practice and them understand that using the jargon the digital generation or the digital natives um, cross institutional links and in particular we've got a lot of work going on on diploma lines at the moment and working with part of secondary schools college and so on to deliver um, through diplomas um, or working on minority subjects or working cross-phase with our, 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 our feeder schools. Um, we've got issues with our, our secondary schools because the secondary schools we work in haven't gone uh, with the same platform, although the FE College has. Um, so that there's all kinds of issues there of getting VLEs to talk to each other um, or, or just to try and move, move beyond the, 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 the arguments about platforms and, and so on. Um, I've already touched on trying to get the virtual staff room working a bit, uh, a bit more uh, fully, getting the governors back on, um, and on graphics. But in terms of the family of schools, um, certainly, as I say, our feeder schools have now got together with us. So um, the, the schools that take um, from well, year seven, eight, and nine, and we've agreed a common format. Um, and a, a common strategy with, with our, our VLEs and we're looking at trying to find ways of actually developing a through 11 to 16 curriculum 
in a number of subjects, um, and using community Moodle linking facilities to um, allow students to access each other's um, VLEs. And we do still need to sort out our graphics. Um, that goes back to a, to a deeper question of uh, how we might decide to deal with corporate branding across a, a number of the other school publications um, online or on paper. Um, and there, I suppose that's a sort of nice up-to-date thing. That's, that, that's a, a shot today from um, Woodbrook Vale, one of our one of our feeder schools there, version of the of the VLE. Um, I just blocked out the names of the students on the right, but that was their their 20 best ones. That's the uh, I think best marks in the in the year seven ICT. Um, course. So, in some ways, some of the things they're now doing, some of the modules they've used and the way they've um, developed some of their subjects, um, will give us some um, food for thought and some development. And it's, I think it's a, a terrific concrete opportunity for us to um, for us to be collaborating and sharing um, sharing resources and expertise and working as a, um, a collaborative group of schools.